So then, you know, me, I've only seen, I'm only thinking about prostate exams from the skits I've seen in comedy and all of these things I've seen on TV and all that stuff. So I'm literally like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so like, you know, so first time. So you walk into the doctor's office, yeah? yeah. Into the doctor's um, surgery, whatever. And then I'm thinking about, like, so I go in there, the first thing I did, mm. I looked at his hands. <laughs> Wow. Because, oh like, in my mind, I'm saying, I want to see how big his fingers are. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the mics are blood clot open. Check, check, check. Select accent for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Calvin. Calvin always late. Yo, what up, what up, what up? This is yeah, the Mics yeah. Are Open, episode 134. My goodness. Mm-hmm. We're like literally <laughs> just a few episodes away from three years, dog. Oh, Yo, damn. That's crazy, Yo, damn. man. True, wow. true. My true. name's G Money. Andy Young. Neville. Big C. In the building. Oh, yeah. I'm still trying to do that 52 plus 52 plus 52. <laughs> yeah, it's like 156. Yeah, it's, it's not my thing. Yeah, yeah, just not... reminded me we, on the last <laughs> podcast we were doing mathematics and it, it was so clear that oh, G but, but, doesn't know math. <laughs> by the way, that thing that, just G. by the way, that figure has troubled me. Yeah? Too. <laughs> they because, were trying to do ten percent of ten of two million. Whoa, yeah. guys were doing no <laughs> that is like brain math. Ten <laughs> percent of it was like, near the no, L of two million. Basically, what it was, <laughs> they were saying like, well, you guys were talking about even 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 ten percent of two point five. No, yeah. we were trying to work. I was saying it's one one bob. Yeah, <laughs> leave it, leave it, leave it. Serious. Well, you guys play. <laughs> leave it. Come on, G was playing us. <laughs> I did it for the camera. Ah, yeah. Hey. But guys, en- guys enjoyed us. The so one. me would never fail. <laughs> so two, so two things. Um, two things I want us to start off. Um. Real quick, with I want to this Neville, you're obviously not on the Monday Minnesota. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I want to give Andy and Neville props because when we walked into the concert on Sat- Saturday, hey, ah. these guys oh, were yeah. in their element, Pepper banner. Squad. Who was the other guy who's MC, who was MCing with you? Um, BV Accurate. Ben Vic. Yeah. BV Accurate. Oh, that's, yeah. that's yeah. Ben. B- Shit, that's Ben. Yeah. BV Accurate. Yeah, yeah, yeah BV I Accurate. Seen. Dope, dope. Yeah. I yeah. forgot about Ben. Really ben's dope, been yeah. around for a while. Yeah, yeah. he's on the grind. He's yeah. on the grind. Yeah, he's I did not recognize. Thing. I've been known that guy for the longest while. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Yeah, he's trying to Dropped a crazy EP. Really? Shotgun out to Ben Vic. Like, I said, because he came over when we spoke and I'm like, Nigga looks familiar. Yeah. <laughs> How's the family? <laughs> the, 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 you the know, question. there's actually one time, one of um, a very good friend, of, friend of mine who actually listens to the podcast, right? Mm. Actually said that to G. How's, How's the family? family? How's the family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How'd that feel? That's to that break basically, the ice. That basically, I just laughed. Because <laughs> just you basically means I have no idea who you are. <laughs> there you go. Man. But yeah, thank you, G, for the props. Um, Saturday, me and Andy had a small conversation about what we wanted to achieve at the event. But the rest was just feeding off the vibes from yeah. the crowd yeah. and the love. So it's been it's, it's been dope. Phone has been ringing crazy. Do, do, do <laughs> the, price, choose, the price went up. Do you want to yeah. do you want to yeah. choose story? Yeah, um, I'm glad the phone has been ringing up because a lot of people's phones are not ringing. <laughs> <laughs> but a true story, true, and I true. can tell you, yeah. fam. So you know, I have a new phone. Yeah, left it at home, mate. I took, oh, I took the uh, old one. <laughs> You've been you risk losing it. I, to, I left it at home, bro. Come let on, G. Me, you're in VIP, you. but the I don't care. All access. <laughs> let, let me tell you guys, the jacket I wore mm. intentionally. Yeah, so you can. Uh, yeah, yeah, that pocket bro, in there. For me, let me tell you. Oh, yeah, 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 and yeah. it's very, it's very funny how when you we hear people talking about like concerts and phones yeah. and stuff. Mm. Me personally, as a big DJ out here on road, <laughs> I've lost two phones at events. Like snatched. No, not snatched. Those guys are sleek, bro. Man. Let me tell like, you, there's a con- mm. there's a concert we went to, and mm. I swear to God. I didn't watch the artist. I was watching my phone <laughs> for the whole... And I swear to you, like, just as the guy come off stage, you know, yeah. I said to myself, let me get a drink. Sure. I, I went, to, went, went to get a drink. By the time I'm trying to, like... Because you know they weren't taking cash at the bar. Yeah, yeah, By the time I'm going to pay by M-Pesa. Yeah. Phone's gone. missing. Phone's gone. gone. Your phone wanted to perform after the main. Did you try to track it? What was crazy? Bro, let me tell you. If you lose a phone... Don't track. It's heartbreaking. <laughs> what was it? An iPhone, a BlackBerry? It was an iPhone. It was yeah. iPhone uh-huh. 6. A white iPhone 6. Yeah. I will yeah. never forget that one. You uh-huh. know what? what white iPhone 6. What, 6. What, what was actually crazy at the concert uh-huh. was uh, towards the end, right? So these two ladies I know, shout out to Lois and Ferraris, right? They come up to me. They're like, they're crying. Mm. And I'm like, what's up? What's wrong? They're like, 
could you call us an Uber home? I'm like, oh, so we are I'm like, I can't do it. Okay. I can't do it because the network, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a problem there's with a, network. There's a huge number of people together. Yeah. So, one of them, their phone's been stolen, right? Uh-huh. And the other one, the phone's dead. Not working No, yeah. no, no. Wow. Wow. Nobody sees it. Yeah. Like, so, now I tell them, listen, you guys walk up. Mm. You'll get a whatever taxi guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, and have them mm. take you guys home. They'll call me and I'll pay. But you no know, problem. Whenever I go to these shows, I take my my US line because yeah. it roams on Airtel. Ah. So on Airtel, it was Airtel, I, I, I could were, make calls. You know, guys were correct. Issues. Another thing is this man. I'm carrying cash to concerts. I listen. If I come to your buy and you tell me M-Pesa only, you shall take cash. <laughs> <laughs> tell me where. Kenya, you'll tell me at but, you, hey, you don't accept terms, the, 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 what, the cash, the currency of Kenya. <laughs> but, but here's that the, was a struggle. But here's the thing though. Here's the thing. It's like, end of the day, you know, it's like, and I don't want to say this, like, I don't want, I don't want to normalize losing your phone. <laughs> oh, the so. only way you can not lose your phone at a concert is not attend. <laughs> or is I, at <laughs> you, I saw this tweet. This tweet was actually hilarious. It said, it said, you guys don't have big boob cheeks and I can tell. Oh, yeah. you oh, hide cool. them. Yeah. 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 But the thing is, okay. <laughs> no, never. Okay, it's, it's not right. <laughs> It's not right, and yeah. in, a, in an ideal world, you but don't. end of the day, I'm telling you in Kenya, yeah, when you decide to go to a concert, right, better be ready. You just be ready that in the, there's a possibility you might not go home with your phone, <laughs> yeah, so, like, very, like 70 so, percent. <laughs> yeah. So, you have to work out how much do I like this artist? Yeah. <laughs> true story, true, that, true, that. true story, and this is a plug for your guest. I actually called your guest on Sunday mm. morning. 12 o'clock and right. I made him 161,000 shillings. How? Because someone Guys are buying new phones. <laughs> someone lost their phone wow. and this is a guy who can't mm. ever, 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 ever be offline. Mm. And by one o'clock, I called your guest. I was like, your guest? Someone's coming to collect and they went and collect. Yeah, and man. Yeah, man. Nice. So, your guest. Yeah, maybe, you, maybe your guest is working with man. <laughs> <laughs> he he sent his own goods. <laughs> yo, yo, do you know the most interesting thing is uh, there's, there's a babe who told me uh, she lost her phone. Mm. So she told me, she saw the guy who snatched. Uh, okay, uh-huh. actually, no, the phone wasn't stolen because they got the guy. Uh. The guy was properly dressed, like dripped to the core. Oh, wow. In the VIP section, no, bro. No, I, I, so I agree. She was, she was at the bar is. trying to pay for, for her drink. Then she had like a small funny pack, you know, because uh-huh. you're trying to be careful. You know, you can't carry your whole handbag and mm. everything. You know, put it back in. And the guy just... You know, you behind you it seems like he's also coming to buy a drink as oh. well. Open the bag. So the babe trying to I, I don't know what she was going in back for, but gets the guy trying to steal. Wow. And the guy panics, tries to run away, but they call security and he got caught. Like, yo, you never you, you don't expect a thug to be dressed like a thug. <laughs> no, 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 no. But People also and, and, and in, real talk, because if I was gonna steal phones, and I'm not I must honestly say to camera, mm-hmm. I have never stolen a phone in my life. You but were supras. I've never, I've never owned a pair of supers, by the way. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Shambhala, yes. I've had, I won't like, I won't like, but I've never land. had like <laughs> supers. But like, if I was going to steal phones at an event, bro, I'm going to be the drippiest nigga in VIP. Mm-hmm. No suits. one can suspect you, bro. You need yeah, to be strapped. Like yeah, man. <laughs> right. I don't know. So, 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 yeah, but but it's true. It's true. Um, when it comes to crazy things that are happening, as Tem said, um, gee, we were all looking forward to it. I know I was listening to the Monday minisode, hoping that I'm gonna get some G drama, some G violence, no. but then there was nothing. Come on now, G. <laughs> not, no, end of the day, like there is nothing to be. You know, let's not let's not no, lose sight of the fact yeah. that the show was done by our friends. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But if it was anybody else, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's not even like, like I said. What, what what, what happened um, and Grouch Grouch and I couldn't play. Yeah. Um, I understand how shows work, and I just feel, my only f- thing was that I was we were never gonna go and play for ten minutes. Yeah, you True. know what I mean. That's 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 not acceptable. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're never gonna go. And Grouchy play. was yeah. ready, man. Yeah, man. Even gave the man C-C. a double, <laughs> triple. He was like, Cavo. He's ready, <laughs> ready. ready to go. <laughs> he was he ready was like, to go. go. And, and, and honestly, I think Yo, Grouchy was ready for you this. You know what? I won't, I won't lie, and this is, I guess. The DJ side of me. When I saw all of you lot posting your things, yeah, 
fucking muted all of you. <laughs> Are you serious? I Are you serious? For the three days. Yeah. Oh, Neville, what? Andy, CNG, Dream, <laughs> Frank, all of you. Know. you know the photos and the videos come after Damn. the event, bro. I was wow. waiting for the for the good job text by G. I'm wondering, hey, it's not <laughs> Kyle. Oh, 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 refresh, refresh, refresh. <laughs> good job. Muted everybody. <laughs> but, but you know, I was, um, I was talking to Kazu this morning in the office, right? And we were just talking about venues, right? And one of the, we were trying to like list out venues, right? Top so venues. you know, mm. there's the KICC. Mm. There's now the race of front. Yeah. Of By the way, race course. KICC is one of the best venues yes. mm. to use in terms of being able to secure it. Yes, KICC is dope. And one of the things that I uh, and this was also now another conversation that I was having on Sunday after the concert, right? You see where Kigali with the convention center, mm -hmm. top top. Mm -hmm. That works for them. You, you, you saw what they did with the NBA and everything. But I was just asking myself, you've seen Safaricom do events out in Kasarani. Yeah. You've seen uh, enough events actually out in Kasarani. Yeah. And I was just like, is it a mindset where we're like, yo, Kasarani is out too far? No, it's not even that. Bro, like when Safaricom do an event, they can f the amount of money that they throw into security yeah, is mad. It's nuts. And the thing is, like, that's another conversation that people have been having about security. And it's like, you got to look at it and say to yourself, well, the, I when, whenever we have done shows, and I always, I actually told this to one of the organizers um, last week, when you do an event, if there are 5,000 people in an event, you, their lives are in your hands. Yeah, true. You see what I'm trying to say? And at the end of the day, it's like you have to have the 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 the, the right amount of security. Mm. Um, but also more important than security is the security plan. Mm. And that's why when we do events, we spend like a whole week and a half on the location every single day. Yeah. And we say, okay, this is a blind spot. Put a big light here, or maybe. And then also, I'd, I'd give a tip to to guys who do events. Who do events? What we do is that we have a separate security team. Mm. So we have our man them, which is five or six man them who we pay differently, who we can deploy quickly mm. at a trouble spot. Yeah. Mm. You get me? So so, yeah. so there's a point, for example, when guys are trying to get backstage, I would just call my guy and say, boom, come here with you, need it here now. Because mm. cause it's like, you know, if you've been, if you're a security guard, let's be honest, you're a security guard, you've been there since 10 a.m. event mm. day. Yeah. By the time the artist goes on stage at 12 o'clock, how much do you really care? Yeah. Tired, tired. You know? Yeah. So, you know, and that's why I, I'm a big proponent of the daytime Gigs. concert. Parties. Where con not, not just parties, because yeah. I'm, I'm backtracking <clears throat> from that. Oh. The daytime parties. I'll tell you why <laughs> oh. in a minute, right? <laughs> okay. But I'm a big proponent. That, like, we, we need to get the mindset, like, even Uganda, when we did, years and years ago, when, when, when John and I and Homeboys, we did, we did um, Akon, those guys were in that venue from daytime. 25,000 wow. people in there from daytime. Yeah. So you see, end of the day, it's like, it, it makes it easier to manage. I don't think a concert needs to go until 4 o'clock in the morning because yeah. it's a concert. Now, the reason I'm backtracking on the, the day parties, <laughs> Tell us. I still want to do day parties. Yeah. Mm. But my God, did I have fun in Mercury last week. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Like I was, in, open, the, open I was in the booth and I was like, Okay. I missed this. I missed, I this. missed this. I missed <laughs> this. There we go. Let me tell you, I won't lie. So shout, shout out to my management over at ABC. Yo, they even lowered parking fees, man. Oh, man. Really? Yeah. Like, <laughs> man yo, so I'm trying to scoop it all. Hey. <laughs> yo, it's back back. But yo, now, speaking, sorry, speaking of parties, uh, Drake had one of his own and uh, invited so many people. Mm. It was star studded. Quavo was there. Yes. Uh, Dave, Dave Chappelle was there. there. Yeah. I like, I like yeah. what, I like what Dave Chappelle said. He was like, you know, for me to be able to be in this brother's house, he's invited us to his big old house. The mansion. It's, it's a the win for, it's embassy a win for, for the, embassy, the yeah. culture. The embassy, yeah. Yeah. But you know, Canada. The, the one person I love in all of this is just Dave Chappelle. He ha just happens to be everywhere. Yeah. Jay-Z is getting uh, inducted into the Hall of Fame. Be there. Man's just be there. in the back looking but, 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 the fuck up. I think that Dave Chappelle has created his own niche yeah. mm. beyond co comedy. Yeah. yeah. Because, yeah. you know, he's, he's really and truly, like, for this generation, he's probably the only person who genuinely just seems like he doesn't give a fuck. 
and is willing to ride. Yes. yes. You know what I mean? Yes. yes. Yeah, like you see, you know, him with Kanye, him with Hove, now he's with Drake, like all of those different kind of levels and different age groups as well. Mm. Yeah. Yo, that is actually. Yeah. But also, yeah, like you said, not giving a fuck. I mean, how many people are going to walk away from 50 million and mm. then come back and get it? Given more, get bucks, more. Yeah. And then you're just like, fuck this. I know, think, I levels. think, like, honestly, like, and I'm sorry to digress from Drake. No, no, to go, go to To go let's to go. Dave. Mm. I think over the last year, because obviously, you know, I was around when Dave Chappelle show originally mm. was out, you know. I think that, like, the respect that I found for him, because that special that he did called Unforgiven, where he calls out the TV channels, mm. that is that is that is not comedy bro that's um ama- there's a line where he yeah. says and if you're a shareholder of blah 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 and you don't agree then fuck you too and he's like you should know what's in the hot dogs that you eat I'm oh. like, Yo. <laughs> Dave so much sense. Yeah. Yeah. so sense. much now before we before we um before we move on mm. um shout going out to everyone who's watching us on youtube you yes. should be liking sharing and subscribing True. and you're probably wondering why we have all of this chai <laughs> on set yes. today. If you're listening so, on audio, run to YouTube. Yes. <laughs> now. So shout going out to Ketepa, mm. who are the finest tea makers. Well, apart from our guy on Instagram, the finest, <laughs> wow. the finest tea makers in in Kenya, and um, they've been they've been they've been. Um, it's actually yo Ketepa, Safari tea. Yeah. Ketepa Safari, safari tea. I'll yeah. tell you how deep this is. <clears throat> Even. Eric Wainaina sang about it. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. So anyway, mm. they've mm. sent us a care package. And us guys, as because we love tea. I love the packaging. Mm. So yeah. shout out to Ketepa. And it's dope. We're not going to just like <clears throat> talk about, we we'll just leave it there. And we're like, oh, Venon's making us some tea. <laughs> In the mics are open merchandise, mug, which are available cop, cop, at cop. The, the website. Cop, 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 cop. So yeah, shout out to Ketepa and we'll talk about that a little bit later on, uh, man. Are you guys um, invested in, in all these movements that happen hold in up, November? Hold up, hold up, hold up, okay. guys. Before we even get into it. It says, on the tea bag, use one tea bag per serving. Are you Louis is actually using one? No, we don't. Uh, like three of them. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to get to this tea love. <laughs> tea <laughs> one, tea bag. Aye, tea bag Aye. one. One, the tea is just one, not cocky enough. Really? Yeah, really? It needs no, to be strong. Yeah, that's to be good strong. Yeah, that, yeah. It needs to be strong. Safari, safari tea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, are you guys into, you know, every year we hear a lot of uh, movements here and there. No shave November. Are we no shaving November? Right. Um, <laughs> failed. <laughs> Terribly failed. failed. <laughs> I've already had a shave. <laughs> More than one. Failed. Failed. Because you know, no shave November, the money you save from not going to the barbershop is supposed to donate it or give it out. Um, Do you know what? Though, your beard looks stream. I don't no, think. No, for real, you haven't been to the barber? No. Have I don't been? think that, I don't think that guys kind of really get it, what this Movember thing is all about though. Mm. Mm. You know, like for example, it's, it's all right. It's about men's, men's health and mm. these yeah. things yeah. and encouraging men to take more care of themselves. You know what I mean? Which is yeah. important. Um, I don't know how, I don't know why No Not November was created. <laughs> yeah. I don't know Let why. Let me Google it real quick. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, don't, I, I, I don't know the <laughs> origins of Movember, <laughs> but from what I know, yeah. it's designed to get men to talk more about their health because I think at the end of the day, you know, and um, and then also um, for the guys who are of that age, prostate checks mm. and all you of these know, things. Actually, now that you're talking about it, right? Cheers, I think men really need to take... Um, Health November Martin. seriously mm. and generally as men we need to take health a bit more seriously. Mm. Yeah. You know you know when you think about like um October breast cancer awareness and everything, mm. right? Women do it all year Religiously. round. Mm. Then for homies you're just like uh November, let's do this, <laughs> let's do that, right? So mm. generally as a man you definitely need to take care of yourself. But why do you 100%. think that but why do you think that is though? Why do why do you think cuz like it's it's uh, just, you don't want to find out. It's just actually no, a but this thing. is the, this a, is the it's thing. It's been a man. Like I said to you, like I said to you, um, prior to my being sick, yeah, yeah. All these years of having premium mm. health insurance, yep, bro. I don't think I went to the doctors outside of the annual check. Uh, no, I wasn't going to the doctors. Mm-hmm. I, you know. I love that you've actually said that, right? This whole, it's its its such a man thing. We're always like, ah, it'll be okay. You know, just like how men drive I'm their good. car mm-hmm. and th- an engine light shows and they're mm. like, I know my car. Yeah. I know at what point it'll break down. Then over some time, it breaks down. Mm. I was actually having that conversation where I was like, hey, 
I want to start doing my face routine, what, what, what. Like, after mm. being at the dentist this week, and the dentist was telling me, your teeth are good, you've taken care of them mm. nicely. He kind of encouraged me to be like, okay, so that was that. Uh, you know, I'm gymming, taking care. Mm. But I was like, yeah. holistically, mm. I want to make sure that mm. everything... everything. But, it's, but it's what I'm trying to say to you. Yeah. Like, in the, the day, it's like, and for those of guys who are employed and stuff, and guys, guys who are fortunate to have insurance, many people have got health insurance. Like, I, like I, let's it, since we're talking about but since we're talking about Movember, fam, mm-hmm. yeah. I remember when I turned 40, right? Because they say that when you turn 40, you need to do a prostate check. Mm. Fam, let me tell you. you I think you I was scared yeah. since I was 35. It's like oh, five <laughs> more years to go. <laughs> the countdown is on. Yeah. The countdown is on. <laughs> so anyway, turn 40, time to go to a prostate check. And in those days, I used to travel a lot. So mm. in those days, I used to go for my health check in the UK. Mm. So, okay. Yeah. I'm no now I do it here. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna why would okay. I lie? No worries, I like that. In those days there, I you know when I'm disappearing to London for a week. Yeah. I'm check going up, for a check up and thing, you know. Yeah. Okay. But 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 you know, because and there I get it done for free and all that shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I used to go so the first time now I'm going for for this prostate exam. So, you know, book the appointment, gone to the doctors. And then I'm like going to the. I'm in the waiting room. Doctor, Hold, like, Gr- Grouchy, do you want to put like some sad music over here? <laughs> no sad music, man. No <laughs> sad music. So then you know me. I've only seen. I'm only thinking about prostate exams from the skits I've seen in comedy and all of these things I've seen on TV and all that stuff. So I'm literally like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So so like you know first time. So you walk into the doctor's office, yeah, yeah. into the doctor's um, surgery, whatever. And then I'm thinking about, like, so I go in there, the first thing I did, mm. I looked at his hands. <laughs> wow. Oh my. Because like, in my mind, I'm saying, I want to see how big his fingers are. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Damn. Damn. So I go into the, the doctor's <laughs> surgery, right? <laughs> no, I've got no word of a lie. I'm telling you the truth. Going to doctor's surgeries and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm parent. So I'm expecting it to be like how it is in Family Guy, you know, Family Guy, like <laughs> yeah, all these things. Wow. So the guy talks to me and he talks me through the process and he's this and he's that. Not process and, you know, why it's important. Explains to me what the prostate is, all of these things, yeah? Then he says, go into the next room, right? <laughs> so now I'm stressed. Fucking tense. <laughs> now I'm stressed because I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> so go into the next room uh-huh you know i put on one of those medical things medical things gowns. The, the, the gowns he's like get comfortable on the day <laughs> get comfortable <laughs> strip nigga no. i don't want to be strip comfortable. And bend, but yeah. they suit. So, <laughs> get I, go, comfortable. I go into the next room and at the end of the day i put on the um the thing then the um they wheel out an ultrasound machine. Such a DJ. Oh. We love the, <laughs> we love the team. We love, so here's the thing. So for me, or whatever the kind of means, there's me thinking that I'm about to be, Violated. you know, <laughs> things have moved on, my G. That's dope. There are ways where it's, now you it's do not it. Where a it's yellow not, pages kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> no yellow. It's, yeah. No, no, it's yeah. literally now you can you can do that stuff where it's non-invasive. No. So I like, that's yeah. that's so you know, like, good to hear. You know, like the, our countdown yeah. is still on. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> you, know, you know, like how when you take um, a lady for an ultrasound, mm. right? So they'll just apply gel on your mm. on your tummy over here. Mm. You probably are told to drink a bit of water, and then they just and they can see wagwan mm. mm. yeah so that's actually very good so yeah. that is to actually demystify man al ati nini nev boss ingia hapo angalio kama vitu ziko sawa eh ni ji alisema 40 niko 25 niko na time kaza but all of this stuff all of this stuff is actually good to know eh? yeah um, true. and also awareness right um, especially for guys as well you know mm. like breast cancer is real mm. as well for guys Slim, slim chances, mm. but you will always notice, yeah. right? So those two checkups are good. Just don't have that whole t- t- toxic masculinity. Yeah. Mm. If you tell, if you're telling your people, like now, for instance, Andy telling us over here, the four of us, oh, I'm going for a checkup. Won't look at you any less. Yeah, yeah. 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 But I, I, but I, I also think, like, I also think that um, I would rather nowadays. I'd rather know, like you know, for example, it's like. Even even when I was sick and I, I had to go for a scan the other day to get it all clear. And when I went for the scan to get it all clear, I wasn't all clear. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm. So I'd rather know that. 
Yeah. I'd rather know that, like, okay, you know, you've had these 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 things. One is clear, one is half clear, but, but I can go back to the gym. But let's let's I, be honest. The mm. ethos of that whole conversation is actually, you know, it's one of those things that actually does take time. It's mm. not the most comfortable of things to actually just walk into a hospital and be like, yo, <laughs> yeah, tell me out. Pre- yeah, tell, tell me. me. You yeah. know, like people process things mm. yeah, but differently, if, but, right? But yeah, but like, gee, let me let me throw mm. it back. At the age of twenty five. Yeah, Were I, you super comfortable rocking up to a horsey? You're like, yo, run everything. <laughs> Let me know if everything's okay. <laughs> run everything. You get, it's, it's, not, it's not easy. <laughs> and it's not no, easy. no, 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 no. No, I, one day, I w- there's a story that I have to tell on the podcast about my street days and being on the road. <laughs> The one day I was, was in the Does street. it involve antibiotics? The road man. It involves antibiotics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So and one day was, was there running. a conversation. Yo, this was podcast is money. This podcast is on fire. Hey. You know? safari yeah. uh. So, so it's mm. like, like I was saying, and um, generally for men, man, let's just try. Yeah. I know it's mm. not easy. Even me saying it, there's mm. times I've been like, ah, uh-uh. Bro, I, I don't feel like <laughs> mm. but you actually just have to yeah. because like like say for instance you, you're giving that example man there's just things that you will find um in the body something here there or like you know when covid happened right and yeah. we were hearing so many young guys dying mm. because they didn't know of comorbidities of, yeah mm. like say for instance you have diabetes and you never even mm. knew mm. and this new thing has come into the yard mm. and it's like hello yeah and, co- um, you know covid is, is sick and destroy man yeah. he's trying to find the, the weakest link yeah you sure. know what i mean yeah. Sure. Yeah. also yeah. i think another another reason as to why the monday might be holding back from doing such things as you know a full body checkup and everything is we've dealt with um doctors who are not um professional mm. to the core like because they're trying to make business at the end of the day. They're trying to make bank at the end of the day. So you'll go for a checkup, you're completely okay, and they'll come up with things of their own. They'll tell you, oh, you know, this this thing we need to check out. You need mm. to go get this medicine. And then it's a, it's a whole chain because right, there's right. a chemist that uh, this uh, doctor refers people to them. They make their own bank. Then they have yeah. their own suppliers. Yeah, 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 then they yeah, have their true. own factories. It's a, it's a, it's a whole chain. Yeah, so yeah. I feel like that lack of trust is something else that used to, yeah. or that makes man them not want to just go for a checkup. So yeah. if you feel like you're okay, I mean, people say if it ain't broken, don't fix it. You know. So I don't feel broken. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm good. I, I hear that, and I think I think it's just something that like, like I didn't, I. I I'll be honest, yes, when I was in my twenties, I didn't really think about I didn't think about because yeah. you feel immortal, you know what I'm trying to say? Mm. Word. But um yeah, you didn't think about it in those days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's so interesting. So carefree. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, so shout out to Katepa for actually fueling a, a, a yeah. crazy conversation. Yeah. And also, you know, I know you mentioned about November and, and men's health. Do you think that do you think that Movember should also include Mandem working out what's going on here okay. because, bruv, Absence. like, honestly, I when I say for those who are listening on audio, I just pointed at my brain, bruh, I, I genuinely think that people are self destructed on, on social media. Mm-hmm. It's not, mm-hmm. not, it's nuts out there. I think yeah. there's a lot of madman out there, bro. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be real with you, yo. The brain, <clears throat> the brain, the brain, man, mm. slept on. And I'm glad that we're having this conversation. You know, the strides that have been taken <coughs> by companies mm. over the last maybe five years or something. Mm. So, you know, I, I, I like good? that companies can now embrace like days when people are just ain't feeling it. Like you could mm. actually tell HR or something, yo, today is just not it, right? Mm. But t- eh. making <laughs> hey, HR, HR, HR way, <laughs> your place. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> too well. Can't believe you have your own interesting relationship <laughs> with HR, bro. Like your, 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 your experiences your friend, are right? not everybody else's experiences. <laughs> Man, I, I don't know. Maybe I think if you craft it. I think if I go to HR, yeah, I, I could say that I'm not feeling mentally <clears throat> like what oh yeah, yeah, you yeah, are yeah, yeah. to give them true, more reason no, 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 i no. feel as if they'll need you to give them he, like a uh, much more hey, hey, explanation boss listen i'm an idiot i should have gone to hr on monday uh-huh. i'd be like yo you know i've prided my career with del- delivering 
but because Nyash wanted to change his set, I couldn't get to DJ Whoa. at the concert. I to take some time. <laughs> do, you, do, do you want to drink from I this cup? Think about <laughs> my oh, look, we even have a Nashinsky <laughs> cup on set right there. Shout out to Nashinsky. Oh Shout my. out to the man. I know is that you you let me serve my tea first. <laughs> <laughs> so ten minutes before. <laughs> so yeah, so you so you see from that perspective, eh? Imagine claim it. Mm. Claim it. If you actually feel, bruh, I can't deliver. Mm. I can't. You get. I think it's it's here's the thing. You know, just like how we're always saying, if you want something, you have to go for it. I mm. feel like if you are feeling some type of way, if you ask for it, what the fuck is the worst that they could do? Mm. I uh, don't know. Give someone else the job. I don't know. I, I <laughs> well, you else. see, no, that's, that's a fucking that's toxic a, environment. That's a problem mm. because a lot of people <laughs> won't do that because they feel like they're going to lose their job. Just like how people say they won't go and leave. You know, that's actually yeah. a, re- a thing. Yeah. Mm. Not people, going on leave for real? Yeah. yeah. The people who go mm. like a whole. Fam, There's people who don't go and leave because. Let me tell you, wow. honestly. Yeah. That's crazy. Honestly, I can tell you guys, this. I've, my entire life, my entire life of employment, I've always taken leave, as y'all know. Mm. I take leave very seriously, right? Yeah. Super seriously, right? Mm. This period of not being able to travel, mm. I didn't realize how jaded I was mentally until i went on leave the other day mm. like i've i've come back i lit i f- literally feel fresh better yeah i feel better like i like they were like it's so important for you to protect the mental and i think at the end of the day it's like i was over there and i was doing like i would do ten thousand steps in a day Ten thousand, twelve thousand steps in a day, but you know why? It's because you're in an environment where you're walking, you're yeah. in this, you're doing that. You're waking up in the morning, you're walking to get your coffee here or there, or you're walking over to this rest. And it just felt good to be on road, like to be on road. Didn't have a vehicle, didn't have a car. Yeah, I, I drove once in my in the in the couple of weeks that I was I was on road. Yeah. you know. So I think at the end of the day, like, and this is not just to say you have to go abroad. You know, I think we need to be more intentional to be saying that in the day, fam, there are places in Kenya where you can go that you won't even believe this is where you are. Yeah. Because they're hidden away. What happens is these rich, like these rich, a lot of rich people from around the world will come and say, Kenya's the most amazing place. I went to this. And they post a picture and you're like, where, where the is hell is like, that? We have that. <laughs> we have that. <laughs> this is in Kenya? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's crazy, you know, what's, I, I love <clears throat> that you've even mentioned something to do with like um, the rich and everything, right? So whenever I've taken walks in Karura, <clears throat> I always notice that, you know, when you even look at the parking lot and everything, yeah. it's big car. big car and all of that, right? But I think one of the things, especially as young guys, mm. what we are so immersed in, you know, you want to be consistently at the party. Mm. You want to consistently be at this and that, what, what, what. You want to be seen. You want to be on social media. It's a rat race, right? Mm. And I've said it before. Nairobi, to some extent, mm. really is an optics kind of game. Mm. But back to your mental uh, conversation, mm. right? That jadedness, you don't realize how, how many things it actually affects. So many things. It, aff- it even affects like relationships you're having mm. with your peers, relationships you're having with your family. So, mm. uh, And yeah. for the young fathers, relationships you're having with your kids. Ex- ooh, ooh. Mm. And that's Let's a whole now. Fam, hey. let me tell you, when COVID <laughs> struck, I can tell you in this estate, there were days... That when it was, we didn't know what COVID was and guys are working from home. There were days when I would go downstairs mm-hmm. and find my them sat in their car. The, oh, sat, wow. sat in their car because they've never been in the house with the kids. <laughs> Who the <laughs> fuck the <laughs> whole time? <laughs> Who are these, these small people in the house? <laughs> man them sat in the car, mm. like just like, got a drink, play some music. And I'm like, yo, what go on? He's like, yo, yo the kids that, in the that, house that are kids driving. Are that, was, that was quite the definitive one. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, let me tell you this. Mm. So a couple of weeks ago, uh, there was an open forum at my daughter's school. Mm. I swear I'm never going back. <laughs> Why? Like, listen, I'm a good father. Yes. What's the definition of a good father? <sighs> ah. How the fuck am I supposed <laughs> to answer that? See, you said you're a good, you said you're, yeah, you said you're a good dad. I tell us your qualities, Calvin. Okay, okay, cool. So <clears throat> let me be honest, right? So I feel for me, as a good father, loving, mm. provider, mm. time, present, present. Mm. I struggle with that. Mm. Yes, but I can definitely do better. Can if I ask you this? It was a grading kind of thing. Mm. That 
B yeah. plus. Can I ask you this? Having a good relationship with the mother of your children yeah. is that part of being a good father? Uh, at times it may not work out. To okay. be honest, because people really go yeah. their separate ways. They really just don't whatever. Mm. Don't want to. But in my particular case, it's been very helpful. Right. Yeah. Like we were both there at that mm. parents' day, and mm. I was just like, listen, honestly. I think you should handle this shit. Because <laughs> for me, they got to a point, they walked us through, you know, the syllabus and everything and what and what. And I'm just looking at my daughter because they were now like at the playing field. And I'm mm. like, bro, I just want to come chill with you. Mm. Let mommy handle all of this. This is her docket. Mm. So being, being a good father, that's that's an interesting one. I, th- I feel like it's an ever learning thing. Mm. You know, I look at like yeah, I Bruce don't... with dad indifferent <laughs> right. and uh, like the conversation they were having uh, months ago. Mm. And I'm Evolution. just like, God damn, mm. there's so many things I still need to mm. take off, right? Mm. Yeah, so mm. how's it for you? Because uh, let me start with this. Do you <laughs> see not... yourself being a father? Of course, of course, point? of course, of course. And we've learned from our fathers. Neville's got kids out there. Nah, fam. <laughs> <laughs> they call him Daddy Yo. <laughs> Daddy Yo. <laughs> Daddy Yo. <laughs> Stop it now. <laughs> so, um, as you've just said, um, I like what you've said. There are many, um, there are many values that make up a good father. And for me personally, I can say that I've seen how not, um, how not to behave, especially when it comes to you know being looking up to being a father because for me personally that relationship that you have between your the children of your mother and yourself mm-hmm. i feel as if yes it might be taken for for jokes but it's quite an important mm-hmm. ca- even though y'all are not romantically involved mm-hmm. it's good for y'all to at least be on one page mm-hmm. y'all but to never show the children yeah. the yes we are adults we might argue might disagree yeah. but sometimes but it should never sometimes women just there don't don't allow it man they like yeah. you know sometimes women there i mean and it's something that's creeping into kenya as well where where Weapon. sometimes women i i saw a lot of this when i was in the uk where women are preventing the that the, the the guys from seeing the kids and using the kids as pawns and and all of these things <clears throat> so i mean i like you said i i um i agree with you that it's important to have a good relationship with the mother of your child i don't uh, but I will say it's not always possible. It's not always possible, in it. Yeah. and I've, I've even Cause, known because because yeah. put it like this, right? So you like say for instance, my daughter, um, when she grows up, right? And imagine me using an example, me using me and your mom didn't get along as the mm. excuse for me not being there. Mm. It would be hard trying to have that conversation. She Fuck. might understand it, but Bro, she might not. Let me won't. tell you. I can tell you for, as as someone who grew up without a dad. Oh my God! My dad was a <laughs> paraphrase for anything bad. Yeah, it would yeah. be like you say you're black like your father, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or like you know everything. Like everything was like, I like, can't stand you. You know, I'm not, like you know, like say, like um, like she say, like, I can't stand you. Yeah, you don't have you don't have no class, just like your father. <laughs> <laughs> this country is corrupt. Insult. Just like yeah, my dad. Like every time I was, every time I was referred, to, every time your dad I was, is an my dad was an insult. <laughs> not that nigga, no, not me. Was, big, was nah. a, like you know, it's just like it's just like you know, like you standing, it's just like yeah, you, 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 the way I, you're looking at me. Yeah. What? Just you think like you your your, you think you and your dad can be me? <laughs> it's like, like no, crazy <laughs> You know, I've actually never thought about this, but mm. you know, obviously now, we, like we, when we started the podcast, we said just getting on to three years, right? Mm. But I've actually never pictured both of you guys as fathers. Oh, like, well, like, why? When there's no, like, like that. No, 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 no. It's <laughs> it's not. It's just one of those things. It happens, and boom. Mm. You know, like I, I don't know. You know, you could come here and say, so I've started seeing this person. We're going to take it seriously. If you guys want to get married, if you want to have the kids. Mm. The day, Andy, you come and tell us, so I'm going to be a father. I'm like, that should I still call him you know Andy what? Young? But <laughs> why, why should that come as a you know, surprise? Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's just, that's it's interesting. Me, it's me. No, but you know what? That's, that's, very that's a very interesting um, thing. Yeah. Because also, I had a conversation yesterday and well i think we were here yesterday i think was it yesterday were, were you here yesterday as well yeah we were here yesterday and we're saying that like something like marriage is going to be such an outdated concept in in 10 20 years 
Because yeah. people are not real like Mandem and millennial, millennials and Generation yeah. Z. Yeah. Marriage is not really on that schedule for any. True. It's an option. Yep. You know, whereas like 10, 15 years ago, you were expected to follow this particular yeah. path. I don't mm. think that in, in the years to come. I had that conversation be. literally That's two so hours true. ago. Mm. That's so and true. someone told me, remember, mm. uh, Charles Jonjo got married at the age of 52. They always use that guy they as an example. <laughs> that guy is always the example. The one in a the million. One, you know, <laughs> they'll, use that, they'll abuse that the, one. The other one that they used was they used uh, the UAE. And mm. they were like, do you know how long it took the UAE to actually discover that they have oil? They sunk so many wells. Wells upon I don't, I'm wells not, upon I'm wells. I'm not quite sure that's the right analogy, but I get what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Bro, but yo, first of all, I want to um, I, I wanna big up Big up once again, Katepa, yes. for coming through. I don't know if it's the tea, but boy, like the conversation is kind of deep Skating today. In, man. But that's how it is. But, but I think, to be honest, though, with this whole Movember thing, Mandem, if you are watching the podcast, we know a lot of you do. Like, do take some time yeah. for self care this take month. Take care of yourself. I right. mean, we're we're all we're all we're more than halfway through Movember. So do take some time for self care. Do take some time to look after yourself. Are you are you are you participating in any of the challenges? I yeah. I found I found, I found <laughs> the silence. I found the definition of no not November. Uh-huh. Instead <laughs> instead of wasting their time masturbating <laughs> or having sex, the challenge encourages men to you know Hold pick it. up a new hobby mm. or learn a new language or something of the sort. <laughs> nice. So. A new hobby. Pick up a new language. Fellas, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you picked up anything? <laughs> yo, are you still dropping <clears throat> the same same? I mean, for me, like like the sec- the first. Of November found me abroad. <laughs> it doesn't count. <laughs> come on. Ah, come on. So it's it's <laughs> You're on a different clock. Yeah. I'll take it. I'll take yeah. it. <laughs> Reason take accepted. It, <laughs> no, it was man. an attempt, bro. Uh, I get it. I get but, it, man, but, for real. But uh, um, we've been talking about a lot of things. Um, just to touch on, you know, outside is really open right now. And also someone said also our pockets are also open, open. Mm. So this past week, um, if you are on social, uh, there's a lady who came out uh, by the name of Shirlene. Yes. 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 She gave us a story about how her and her child um, are going through hard times. And as usual, Kenyans for Kenyans, as usual, Kenyans, we have that spirit of giving. <clears throat> Let me help my neighbor. And guys, um, fundraised for her, she got um, upwards of 700,000. Mm. Yeah. And uh, later on, as the story developed, guys came to realize that it was not actually a tick thing. Mm, like mm. somebody was actually trying to play a game to get guys to give them money through like sympathy kind of way. Mm. Brick one brick. So how do you guys feel about, because this is not the first time we're seeing issues of people come online and explain right. their, we all go through troubles. They explain their stories and then they ask us for our two bob, our hey. ten shillings, our hundred bob. Rob those KOT niggas, man. <laughs> <laughs> but gee, they're those guys who are, you know, philanthropic. <laughs> who are. Like they deserve it. <laughs> rob, rob those guys. Nah, seriously. No, here's the thing. What's you your know, take I, on this story? Like, honestly, if, honestly, if it's Brandon Bunde, take all the money. Take all the money. <laughs> take it, take if it. If it's Wangwe, take it. <laughs> take it. You know, all of them. Here's, no, here's my there. take. Rama, take it. <laughs> here's my take, right? Yeah. And my take on my take on it is this. It's like, I rarely contribute to online harambes mm. because you see, it's like, it's Ain't like verification, bro. It's not even, it's not even verification. It's just that I think that like in real time, I'm spending so much time like working and helping the people around me. Yeah. I don't have the extra. Mm. And unless the story really, really touches me. Yeah. Because you see, for example, like, you know when they had the, um, the earthquake in Haiti? Yeah. I contributed. And it's not because, it, it, it's not because um, it's a different place or... Uh, it's just that that was a level of human suffering that I just could not... I couldn't... Stand. Or... You know, yeah, yeah. see. Yeah. Stomach, yeah. But then you see, like, when I see like, a lot of these online um, things, if you want to give, don't... If... For every fake cause online, there's... 10 causes that are, yeah, are true. Real. Mm. So I don't think it should change you from having a heart. But personally speaking, man, I don't really like it. was a time they were doing some fundraising the other day and um, they were doing all these Instagram lives with celebrities mm. and I accidentally, I accidentally 
dropped into one of his IG lives and someone's like, G Money's in the building. I got out of that room so fast. <laughs> Hell <laughs> exit, no. exit, 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 exit. <laughs> you know, but I think, I mean, end of the day, yeah. if, if a cause moves me, yeah. I'll make a contribution, but I'm really swayed, swayed by those things. Calvin, this is not the first time this is happening out here because I'm sure you've been online, you've seen um, people asking for money and then they discover, oh, Damn! <laughs> 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 or like that. Or butter, you know, mm. people do extra things with the money. Same to the to the cases of the US where people are given the PPE loans, you know. Yeah, and then yeah, they yeah. go out and buy Lamborghinis with them. So mm. what's your take on this? That was a big scam in America though, yeah. Yeah, what's mm. your whole vibe on this harambe online and guys not actually being for real about it? <laughs> no comment. Hey, for the first time. I get messages sent. Uh, like a couple of weeks ago, I had someone who sent me, they were even like, oh, you can call this doctor. Here's the form. Here's the what. I'll contribute what I can give and mm. afford to say. Even if it was a con job, mm. so. you could afford to lose it. Yeah. Damn. It's, yeah. Okay. yeah, I don't. It's, it's I, 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 I don't. I, because I will never be the person who will then jump online. Like, with this Charlene story, right? I saw someone say, actually, that was the, the, the way the person phrased it. They were like, yes, it appealed to me. Mm. Uh, and the human in me said, let me give. give. Mm. And they gave 10K. And they were like, so if that is what they decided so they want to do, it's, okay. mm. it's all good. Okay. But mm. from, from, you know, from my heart. human, mm. yes. I give. You get, so if I've done it, bro, listen, here's the thing. If you know if the Bible and all of that things they say, nah, that I all of that I'm, shit will I'm, be settled on. I'll, I'll yeah. help. That's that's you. I'll help, that's, but I'm I'm yeah. not swayed by every mm. online story. Andy, at all. do you do you think um what do you think of this story? And do you think like the government should like should somebody come <laughs> up with like, like a law? <laughs> should there hey. be a law or something that you know yo. curbs future? What yo, do you yo, think? Yo, bro, scammers will always be there. I mean, I got scammed last week. I lost a lot of money. Nili oh, Kubali, oh. you oh, know, yeah, just, yeah. yeah, I got scammed. How? Me, me, and some uh, former schoolmate of mine got scammed by someone who was impersonating another schoolmate of ours. Wow. Like, I'm telling you, and I, I had this conversation with Neville on the Chop, Pod, uh, yeah, the Chop, Chop, Shop. Shop Podcast. Chop brother. Shop Podcast. Yeah, yeah, available on all DSPs. Go check mm. us out. Mm. And I was telling him, yeah, I'm, I'm not the only one who got scammed, right? So many other people got scammed. But at the wow. end of the day, do you, do you feel bad because you lost something or because you got scammed? And I had to, whatever Calvin is saying is very correct. <clears throat> like, we all gave because we wanted to help someone out. And mm. most of us didn't even have that money readily available. It's because of how it was played so well. You knew the money was going to come back in a few hours, mm. right? But then something happened. And before you know it, so many people got scammed at the same time. So the, the babe who got impersonated is the one who helped me see all this because wow. she started getting in touch with everyone who contributed money, everyone who got scammed. Mm. And she said... The worst thing about this is she knows she has good friends who trust her and they're the ones mm. who chucked the money. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I told her that should, you can either see that or you can see that I actually have friends who can come through for me even mm. at their worst. Mm -hmm. So whatever, that tweet that uh, Calvin just talked about, I feel the same way like I helped you out or I knew I was helping and that that's the energy that I gave mm. the money with. Mm. I'm not going to take it back. Mm. Am I going to feel bad that it didn't go to a good cause? Maybe. I'm human. It happens. But what can I do about it? I know you, you planted the wrong seed. I planted the right seed. And these things, as Calvin is saying, dunia ni mduara, it's going to come back to you, bro. Mm. My money is going to come back a hundredfold. What like, about you? Like for me, even if you've conned me, I'm not giving that energy to the world. Bro, right, right. Mm. You, you're the one who wants to live with yourself. Yeah. Mm. You I'll sleep well at night. You're Smiling the one who wants pain. to live with yourself. And, uh, well, and with that said, <laughs> there's some cold motherfuckers out well, here. Well, me, who I won't even I, feel shit. Well, for me, like, yeah. Just to tell you guys, haven't eaten for four days. Saidia, will you? Changishia Jimani. Till number you go up. You never do think about the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, as I said, I feel as if as we continue going forward, some measured sh me measures mm. should be taken into, um, should be brought up and should be, you know, so there should be mm. some laws out here 
Because we just all just can't start changishaying. We saw it with the guy there who cried on TV for everyone. <laughs> you know, and we he was given so uh, much. Which guy? Oh, the, uh, the guy who used to guys, be an actor. Yeah. On that TV on show that for TV high school. On that TV show for high school. Oh, almost. Almost. Yeah. This is the way he was crying. Almost is a fucking meme. The way he was crying. Because he didn't do it. Almost when he let you do my thing. Wow. Those fuckers got him, right? So he was gifted the house. Did you see some people who prayed on him? They went and actually hid cameras and found him in a bar. And they were asked him, how much would you sell your house? The guy was offered money. The guy was like, yes, I can sell the house. <laughs> wow. <Damn. laughs> it Crazy, happens. Man. But, so, yeah, it's a yeah. tricky time out here. It's Outside is open. I feel as if mm. things are changing and things are moving maybe back to where they were right, and right, we've right. forgotten how things were. Mm. But we need to be careful out here. Guys are looking true, for the true. bag. You true. know, so yeah, make sure yeah. you secure yourself. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah. guys are yeah. looking for money for chicken for December. But yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, to go before, with. before we wrap, um, before we wrap, though, um, and yeah, once again, big up Katepa for coming yes. through with the, the goodie bag. Man. Fam. Terrorism, bro. Oh, shit. It's back. Oh. Like it never left, bro. Sad. Uganda, sad. yes. Uganda a couple days ago, rather. Prayers up for Uganda. Uh, um, prayers up for Uganda. Yes. And quite a few people losing their lives over there. Bro, you know Uganda, in terms of like security on the mm. ground, them lot don't play, yeah? But is it, they just have loads of cops on the ground, but they, like. They have loads of cops on the mm. ground, because you know they have the, so so let me equate it to this, right? So they have the regular guys who wear uh, gray, beige uh -huh. thing, and then they have the black. So the black yeah. are like the GSU, mm. who always, you know, on yeah. ground and everything and you see the patrols upon with the patrols. guns and all that yeah but you know the suicide bomber bro you can never know man was on a bicycle or a bike jeez mm. yep yeah man. but i i, I want to bring it back obviously to the 254 because yeah. you know i think um we've suffered our fair share of of terror attacks mm. over the years yes and you know some of us have lost friends and all of these things yes. i just think that in the day like this is a, a an appeal that we need to be we need to be vigilant mm. yeah. and um mm. we definitely need like if if it's if if it is anything suspicious in your estate, fam, now, now is the time to get those estate WhatsApp groups going yep. because <clears throat> it's like we really need to 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 be careful as we go into December and beyond. And I think something that all of us suffer from is fatigue. Now, fatigue in terms of security checks. Mm. Bro, when the security guards tell you, hey, put your things here, let us search, let us do what? Mm. Allow Please them. allow them to. Yeah. Because you can yeah. never be too, you know, mm. you can't be lax about it, right? Yeah. So that is the first measure, you know, like we're saying, be able to snitch. Come on, man. Mm. Yeah, I ain't never had no problem <laughs> with snitching. <clears throat> Bruh, if, if you find someone buying too much fertilizer. Yeah. <laughs> for real. What are you Watch what out, Fritz. <laughs> for real. All right. All right. Now, before we wrap, I want to let you know that tonight <laughs> on the channel, it's all about the lockdown the sessions. Lockdown. And um, it's only right that me and Grouchy delivered the lockdown sessions wow. tonight. Question. Only right. Who's cutting raisin? <laughs> who's, <laughs> who's cutting raisin for the other? Me, I'm cutting I'm I'm I'm, I'm raisin. Even. Oh, so what? Are they cool? Grouchy said he, Grouchy said he couldn't perform after a Jamaican artist. <laughs> <laughs> before. Yeah. Yeah. before. Before, before, yeah, yeah, yeah. Couldn't perform before. Before, you know, I'm, I, I do the first set. Grouchy does the second set. Nice. Um, yeah, Eric okay, Mondi, Wagwan. Oh. Hey. Damn, that was one of the questions on open mic that guys were asking oh, us about. Oh, do you want to, let's rewind, rewind, okay. rewind. <laughs> Time for open <laughs> mic. <laughs> yeah. Yes, if you're new to the channel or if you're listening to us right now and this is the first episode, um, open mic is where you send in questions on our social medias and we get to them. We give you our opinions and um, just how you like it. So one of the things was Eric Mondi has been um, everywhere this past uh, month uh, with uh, many, he's been saying, a lot of things one of the things that he's um putting out there is that he wants parliament to pass a law that um 75 percent um of kenyan content music and tv should be shown to the public unlike the way it is right now so he's he's been doing the most but before that he of mm. course went to his social and uh he he mentioned a few artists and um what he wanted some kenyan artists to do mm -hmm. uh, one of the things was um he kept on saying why are kenyan artists performing before as we as we talked about earlier before I have international enough, acts yeah. i have a big acts. i have a big problem with that though but go on, continue. Yes. So uh, what, what, what one of our listeners wanted um, to know from us is what we think about this whole 75% um, 
of Kenyan content should be on radio and TV. What are our views on that? Why? Oh my God! Like, let right. me take it. Yeah, here's Let's the go, thing. Calvin. Um, I tweeted this last week. I said there's so much great music from the two five four. Tons mm-hmm. of it discovered and discovered. Yeah. But my question is, are Kenyans ready to listen to seventy five percent of Kenyan music? Our own music. That's the question, yeah. right? To movies. Yeah. Uh. There's a lot of movies that have been produced. I saw Abi, uh, what's his name? Mutua? Abel mm. Mutua. Abel. Mm-hmm. He was on the street, right? In the middle of traffic s- saying, go to this site mm-hmm. to be able to watch the movies. Mm. So, once again, we've said 75%. Why is he having to struggle to go there? Are we willing to whatever? You get because the thing that happens is this that happens, and then everybody mm. jumps on Twitter and they're like, Oh, this is a sexy thing to do, and mm. they go and then start to support the movie. Mm. How about we take it upon ourselves mm. to actually do go it? Mm. Fam, put it this way if the biggest fight that we have mm-hmm. in Kenya right now is who opens and closes a show, <laughs> to me, that says everything that I need to know about the industry that we have. It's like it's 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 two people cannot perform on one stage at the same time somebody has to go first someone has to go last if the, the if the indicator of status is going to be i who can't perform last. who performs last mm. to me i'm going to say and i said it on the podcast on monday it's like we talk about status I can guarantee you, yeah. Adi Kuni got paid a lot more money than Every Nash. Mm. I can guarantee you that that Black Coffee got paid a lot more money than Blinky, Blinky Bill. Yeah. Those are facts. So whether we want to talk about curtain raising or not, shouldn't the conversation be how do we elevate our artists to the point mm. where they can go into other territories and get the same treatment that these other artists um, get when they come here. Mm. Music is a language. Mm. Music has always been a language. And you can't dictate to me how I interpret that language. And this conversation goes from perception of Kenyans, but also to corporates. So G <coughs> has an event uh, right. that he wants to promote. Right. And he goes with Saudi Soul and says, this is how much, say, I want to give them 10 million. Mm. Mm. And the corporates are like, I. Why? Yeah, and and that's that's one side of the fence. Yeah. Also, you talk about doing events, right? If a corporate's gonna give me some money towards a, um, an event, mm. sponsorship, w- sponsorship. Mm. Why are you coming in a week before the event and then telling me you're gonna give me an LPO for sixty days? Surely, if you cared about the industry, you'd say to me, "Okay, sour." Uh, I'm going to contribute my five or my 10 million shillings and we're going to have a special way in which we can get it into your funds, blah, blah, blah. So you can invest it into the show. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? My thing about it is if my philosophy has always been, if we make money, let's pay everybody well and move on. Mm -hmm. Now, at the end Mm. of the day, it's like when you do go, if you go to Lagos or you go to Tanzania, you go to to Ghana. When you go to Ghana, you don't hear 100% Ghanaian music. In fact, you go to Ghana, you may end up hearing 40% Ghanaian music, maybe. Oh, but when you listen to radio in Ghana, you're hit, bro, <clears throat> they play more English Afro swing in Ghana than any other country I've been to in Africa. The fact of the matter is, but we have massive Ghanaian artists. For example, we have this guy, his name Kiddy. Mm. Yeah. Kiddy has his, he's got that song. <coughs> Um, say cheese and touch say it. Say cheese and touch it, yeah? yeah. Those are big songs. Yeah, those big those are big songs yeah. that yeah. have gone beyond the border mm. of of where we are. In Jamaica, there's a, 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 a phrase where they say some artists make music that can't go past the airport. There are thousands <laughs> of artists who are in Jamaica <laughs> who you have never heard of. True. There are thousands of artists who are in just Tanzania next door. Yeah. That you've never heard of. There are thousands of artists in Uganda that you've never heard of. What the point I'm making is the best of the best make music that go beyond their borders. Mm. Judge them on the music. That's what it is. Judge them on the music. 
Yeah. You know, end of the day, it's like end of the day, let's 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 be honest, it's like fight a battle that's going to make you win the war. Yeah. See what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Okay, that's me saying, you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not going to um perform, I'm not gonna DJ after Andy. <clears throat> or I'm or, 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 or vice versa. And then Andy's being paid fifty thousand. And I'm getting 10k, or I'm getting 20k, so. But I'm saying I'm saying because this is my house, <laughs> and I, there's no way Andy can perform um, after me. Mm. Andy has spent the time convincing the world of how great he is, and that's why he's here. Mm. When Andy Kunle came through four years ago, nobody knew who he was. He didn't just wake up overnight. When he came through four years, when he came through four years ago, and we interviewed him and we became friends, nobody he couldn't get. He didn't do that many interviews, because he was struggling to get. Because nobody knew who he was. He, mm. But he paid. He put his money in his pocket. Mm -hmm. He came. He flew to Kenya. He did a couple of interviews with the, with a few people who would accept yeah. him because nobody knew he what knew yeah. who he was. And here we are four years later. If he did that in Kenya, he did it in Tanzania, he did it in wherever he needed to yep. go. Then he probably went to the States for a while, blah, 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 worked on his craft. Did it. I'm trying to tell you, you can't force me. You cannot force me to listen to you. Yeah. You cannot <clears throat> force me to tell me that you're better than me. You can't let your music and your craft, your craft speak. 100%. Yeah. I, I'm going to ask the question. Since nobody wants to ask the question, let me be the bad guy. Let's go. If you ask a hundred people who show they went to on Saturday, what do you think 70% of people would say? Adi Kunle. Every mm. newspaper article you see <clears throat> says the Adi Kunle gold show. Mm. So what are we really talking about? Yeah. What are we really talking about? Fight the battles that are going to win you the war. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. props going out to Fena. Fena about na, na, two na. years ago. Vaccine. About two years ago, maybe two, three years ago, Fena hit me up. She's going to Ghana. Do I know anybody in Ghana? Those days I'm doing radio in Ghana. So I'm like, yo, Fena sending me snaps from the radio stations that she went to in Ghana. When I go back, when I go to go back, I see I live there. When I go to Ghana, <laughs> see you. and I go to the radio stations, they're yeah. like, how's Fena doing? Nice. They know who she is. They've put the work in. When I'm driving in Accra, the last time I was there, and I'm hearing a Fena tune on the radio, she's put the work in. It's nothing different yep. from what Adi Kunle did four years ago. Put the work in. Put the work in. I said it, man. Don't talk. Simple. Quisha, moving yeah, that's on. That's me. Um, another um, something else came in from one of our peoples, and his name is Levy, and he says, yo, I'm a big fan of uh, the good company. The mics are open. Uh, just a quick question. What's the significance of Panda? Hi, Panda. Panda. Oh, go on, Panda. <laughs> yeah. What's the significance wow. of Panda? Should I take that? Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> Does Panda get a check? <laughs> sitting there every, every week. <laughs> <laughs> so, Panda... Panda's American, as y'all know. Did you know? Oh, wow. Panda's from Atlanta. The passport in Atlanta. Oh, from the South? <laughs> Panda's from the South, yeah. Panda, Panda, Panda. Daddy Panda, South. Panda. <laughs> For me, the significance of Panda is, um, I don't know how much of you lot believe in mysticism and stuff, but I've always said that for the things that we try to create, the good company, um, the panda is our spirit animal. The panda is an animal that is known for its gentleness, its integrity, its humility, its kindness, but also for its strength as well. Yeah. So the panda for me is symbolic of everything we, we, we should try to embody as a company. We should be strong enough to, 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 to defend and to do the things and to see through to the end of the things we want to do. But we should also be humane enough mm -hmm. to, to be accessible and to be, to be kind. So to me, it's a balance <coughs> of power and kindness. And I think that's what I... I'd like the company to the ethos to be. And Damn, yeah, you need to write my proposal <laughs> letter. <bro. laughs> and I think you need to write my right proposal. One. Damn, yeah. and those and were like your vows. I think on the flip side, some something a lot of people don't know also 
uh, what the panda represents mm -hmm. is um, no body shaming. It's, the, it's not the tea that <laughs> <laughs> listen this is me the mics are open <laughs> my name is g money <laughs> and the uh, oh, wow, wow. neville and big c oh, there you go Jesus. yeah why there Yours. was another you know there's another question but i just couldn't remove <laughs> because of you there was another question